dito po sa tahanan ng ating Diyos na buhay. Amen. Ng ating Ama. Sino nga ba naman tayo para isipin ng Panginoon? At sino nga ba naman tayo upang tayo ay isipin ng Diyos? Amen! Who am I that you are mindful of me? Hallelujah! Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me when I call Is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love me It's amazing If I'm a friend of God I am a friend of God friend of God. He calls me friend. I am a friend. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me? Is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love me? It's amazing! I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. 
Thank you, Lord. You are God. You are our everything. You are our Father. You are our Savior. You are our friend. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Hallelujah. We praise you. We praise you, Lord. Oh, we praise Him. You are the Word at the beginning. One with God, the Lord Most High. Your hidden glory in creation. Now beautiful name it is nothing compares to this what a beautiful name it is the name of Jesus you didn't want heaven without Heaven down. It was greater, love was greater. What could separate us now? What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. name it is nothing compares to this what a wonderful name it is the name of Jesus what a wonderful name it is the name of Jesus you were the word the beginning one with God the Lord most high your hidden glory is creation now revealed in you are twice what a beautiful name Bell 
face of your glory for you are raised to life again you have no rival you have no equal now and forever God you reign yours is the kingdom yours is the What a powerful name it is What we can stand against What a powerful name it is The name of Jesus What a powerful name it is The name of Jesus Let the dead hold you Let the dead hold you The veil tore before you Powerful name. Yes, Lord. The only name that could save the world. The only name under heaven that could save the humanity. What a beautiful, what a wonderful, what a powerful name. 
and the most powerful of all. Hallelujah. Yes, we praise you. We worship you. Lord, you, might, you are the mighty king. You are our mighty savior. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord, for this morning, as we go on to this service, Lord, thank you for being with us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. Thank you for your anointing in this place. And as we continue this service, Lord, be glorified, be magnified in the midst of us. Lord, we can't do anything. We can do nothing without you. Hallelujah. To your servant whom you are going to use to deliver your word in the midst of us, Lord, anoint him. Anoint his lips. Use him powerfully, O God. Use him mightily, Lord, for your glory. Magamit siya, Panginoon, sa paghahayag ng iyong salita ayon sa iyong kalooban. Encapsulate him with your power. Encapsulate him, O God. Cover him with your anointing. Lord, magningning nawa Panginoon ang, ang iyong mukha. Ikaw, Panginoon, ang magningning sa kanyang buhay. Itago mo siya, Panginoon, sa likod ng iyong cross. At ikaw ang makita, Panginoon, ang iyong kaluwalhatian. Lord, may your message in the midst of us this morning. Lord, mata mo, Panginoon, makuha ang, ang revelation mo personally sa bawat isa sa amin. Matanggap, Panginoon, ang pagpapala na inihanda mo ba sa bawat isa sa amin. Salamat, Panginoon. At ngayon pa lamang, Panginoon, inaangkin na namin ang katagumpayan ng service na ito at ng buong araw na ito. We give you praise, we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, thank you. Hallelujah. Good morning po, everyone. Hallelujah. Kumusta po kayong lahat? Good to see you all. Hallelujah. Praise God. Good morning po. Good morning po. Tuloy po kayo. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's a wonderful name of Jesus that we are going to worship Him, that we are going to praise Him. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. I agree with that. God and Diyos po ay napakabuti sa ating buhay, sa ating kalagitnaan. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Truly, our Lord is faithful and He is true to His word. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome po sa Commission for Christ Fellowship. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, again, uh, ang ating pong pagbati sa bawat isa po sa atin, I, we are so glad that we see you all. Even to those who are watching on us, on our online service, amen. God bless you po sa lahat po ng nanunood sa ating online service, amen. Linggo-linggo na they are there people watching on us. Kaya nga po, bukod po, uh, ang kagandahan po natin ngayon ay hindi lang po tayo nakakapa, nakapaloob dito sa loob ng building, amen. Ang kanyang pong salita, the word of God has been spread all over the world. Amen. Nakakarating po yung ating mga mensahe sa lahat ng dako ng mundo sa mga panahon ngayon. And, uh, and again, this is uh, really uh, prophesied by God that the Lord, of, the Word of God will be preached all over the world before He came. Amen. At kaya nga po, yun po yung ating ginagawa that we can reach them out. Hallelujah. Sa pamamagitan po ng ating media. Amen. Praise God. Doon po sa nanonood sa ating linggo-linggo, the Lord will bless you. Pagpalaan po kayo ng mga ng ating Panginoon sa ating po mga nanonood. Uh, si uh, would like to mene and bang, bangitin yung mga pangalan, yung mga I would like to mention the name of those people that is watching on us. Si Chiang Maria. Hallelujah. And everybody knows Chiang Maria. Kumusta po kayo? Uh, Eman Repeso and family. Hallelujah. Victoria Borja, si Nelly Subia ng Hawaii, hallelujah. Si Bal Bagdoya, Bagdayan. Uh, Madeline Nagasaw ng Isabela, 
Praise God. Nakakarating po yung ating mensahe sa Isabela. Praise God. Even Celia Miguel. Amen. Nanonood po sila every Sunday. Nelda Dayao. Hallelujah. Sila Lawrence Mandak and many more. Amen. Sila po yung ating mga faithful na sumusubaybay sa atin. Even all my relatives in Atimon and Keston. Amen. Sila Ason Molina, sila Bill Silande, sila Opelia Alvarez. Amen. Raquel Simiano and all the Laudi family in Atimon and Keston. Sa lahat po ng nanunood sa atin online service dyan po sa Keston. God bless you all. Pagpalain po kayo ng ating Diyos. Amen. At wherever you are, naabot po natin kayo sa pamagitan po ng ating online service. Amen. So again, we are the Commission for Christ Fellowship. Uh, we are here located here in 6678 Mission Street, top of the hill, Delhi City. We are full gospel church tayo po ay purong salita ng just meaning to say wala po tayong dinadalang anumang reliyon amen purong salita ng Diyos ang ating itinatas whatever the bible says that's all we are in that way hindi po tayo nalilhis ng landas sa ating pananampalataya amen so this is all full word of god that we are mentioning here we don't add and we don't uh, we don't uh, take out any words okay So our service start at 10 o'clock a.m. Amen. I suggest that you know come and worship with us. You know, experience the glory of God, healing, deliverance. Uh, you know, maranasan po natin yung himala ng ating Diyos, ating kalagitnaan. You need something, if you have need some uh, prayer request, then come with us, join us. Hallelujah. You can reach out on our online, our 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 uh, no yatin po yung ating pong uh, Facebook live meron po tayo niyan meron po tayong uh, taw email address okay so yung pong ating email address ay nakapaskil po sa ating uh, online service praise god so our bible study is going on every friday hallelujah we'd like to come invite you come join us bible study every friday amen at start at uh, 6 o'clock in the afternoon via zoom amen So, gandahan po nun, nasa bahay na lang po tayo. We don't need to come here. We have Bible study every Friday via Zoom. Amen? And we have Don Watch every 6 uh, uh, o'clock in the morning, every Saturday. Dito po, ginaganap po natin yung ating Don Watch uh, prayer meeting. Hallelujah. 6 uh, o'clock in the morning. And also, we have Men's Fellowship every Saturday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Amen. Sa so, yan po yung ating gawain. Hallelujah. Sa ating uh, kalagitnaan. Amen. So Praise the Lord. Yan po yung ating uh, ginagawa sa ating pong kalagitnaan. Hallelujah. And also would like to announce and po sa uh, uh, we are planning to schedule the youth group. Amen to have their own Sunday gathering. We will going to announce that very, very soon. Amen? All the youth. Amen? So you're going to have your own uh, uh, gathering. And on, so we're planning to put that on Sunday. Also, uh, all board members, we have meeting Monday afternoon. Amen? So we're going to talk about the coming event that we have. Hallelujah. Praise God. This morning, we will continue our topic. Amen? How many of you remember our topic? Supernatural increase. Amen. Supernatural increase. God will increase us in a supernatural way. Amen. God wants us to experience the supernatural blessing in the life of His children. Amen. If you are with us last week, and this is our third Sunday now, we are talking about the supernatural increase that we are looking of what God is going to do in the life of every individual for our ministry in the year 2022. And again, we are now heading to our fifth year. Amen. Ng ating pong paglilingkod sa Diyos. At ang ating pong Diyos ay tapat. Hallelujah. Praise God. At ang ating pong... Uh, Uh, paglilingkod ay tunay na batid ng Diyos kung ano po yung ating mga ginagawa. 
Amen. So we are heading on our peep year. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord po. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we believe that God will open a new door. Amen. And we will experience a supernatural increase. Not only in this ministry, but also in the life of each of every one of us. To those who believe and faithfully trusting on Him. Doon sa mga tunay na nagtitiwala sa ating Diyos. Amen? Pagpapalain po tayo. And that is uh, iniha, ni, nilatag na ng Diyos para sa kanyang mga anak. A supernatural increase that you not even experienced it before. Amen. Hallelujah. Yung po yung mararanasan natin. And the best thing we need to do is to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit as He direct us to the new door. Amen. God will direct us to a new door. I don't know where the door was. You know, I don't know where it's come from. But do, uh, I do know that if God said it, kung ito po ay sinabi ng Diyos, it will make it happen. Amen? It will make it happen. Praise God. If you not experienced the supernatural increase in your life yet, hallelujah, I believe that this is the time that God will allow it in the life of His children. And tayo po yun. Amen? The best is yet to come. Hallelujah. The best is yet to come. And this is the time that I know that the Lord will going to bless us. And we're not going to limit God. Amen? We're not going to limit God. Hallelujah. We're, we just allow Him to move in the midst of us. Praise God. Never think small. Amen? Don't talk negative. Hallelujah. You need to believe that God is going to, do, to lead us in a higher level of our service. Glory to God. Amen. Last week, we are talking about the vision. The importance of having vision. Amen. Bakit po mahalaga yung vision? The book of Proverbs says, dito po sa book of Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18, meron po sinabi doon, Proverbs 29, verse 18, when there is no revelation or vision, Hallelujah. Paki, paki alam na po yung sa ating ating scripture so we can see it everybody can see it. Proverbs 29 verse 18. Hallelujah. Where there is no revelation. In other translation said vision, okay? The people cast up restraint, but happy is he who keep the law. Hallelujah. In other translation says where there is no vision, the people Paris. Kung wala po ambition, anumang klase ng samahan, anumang klase ng organization, any kind of group, any kind of organization without ambition, hindi po tayo maging tagumpay sa ating gawain. Amen? That's why it is important to have the vision. Amen? That's why the Bible says where there is no vision, the people perish. Hallelujah. Meaning, you need to have a vision for what God is going to do in your life. Hallelujah. In the year that will come. Praise God. And that's why I was telling you, I'm so excited for this coming year that God is already provided for us. This is our fifth year anniversary. And I know that the Lord is going to do something. And the vision is, ano po yung vision na binigay po sa atin? What is the vision? The vision is, see yourself experiencing a supernatural increase in our spiritual life, in our personal life. Amen? Uh, accomplishing prophetic words of God in our ministry. Meron po tayong narinig na salita ng Diyos sa atin. A command. Amen? And that is what we are looking forward. Amen? Uh, when we began this church, when tayo po ay nagumbisa, Nangusap po ang Diyos sa atin. And that's why this church established because of that word. And we are looking forward na ma-accomplish po sa atin yung complete accomplishment na ibinhinain sa atin ng Diyos. And that is what we're looking at. Amen? The Lord shows us a vision in our ministry for the year 2022. 
Hallelujah. As we heading to our peep year of our service to the Lord. Amen. I just let you know that about I just let you know about that and I encourage treats of every one of us uh, stay with me on that vision that God shows me for the year 2020. Amen. Kailangan ko po kayo. We need you. Amen. We need to work together as a body of Christ. Amen. Ang body of Christ po ay isang represent isang katawan ng tao na yung kamay ay hindi natin pwedeng panlakad. Ano po? Yung ating paa ay hindi natin pwedeng uh, pangkamot. Amen? So that is the body of Christ. We need to work together. And that's why I encourage you to be with us, stay together with us. Samahan niyo po ako sa vision na ito. See yourself in Christ no matter what you're going through right now. Amen? No matter how impossible it is. And the way we could only do that is to keep Feeding your spirit with the word of God. Amen? Yung salita ng Diyos ang siya nating kalakasyan. Whatever get in your heart is what you hear will produce. Uh, whatever gets in your heart it what you hear, uh, is what you hear is produces in your life. Kaya nga sabi ng Matthew chapter 12 verse 34, sabi ron, For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. Amen? Kung ano daw po ang nilalaman ng ating puso, ito yung lumalabas sa ating mga bibig. Praise God. So what you see and what you hear is how you develop your heart. Amen? I'll repeat it again. What you see and what you hear is how you develop your heart. Amen? It's only through the Word of God that will develop our faith. Amen? Through the Word of God. Yan lang po yung atin. That's why, the reason why we develop our faith is because of continuing hearing the Word of God. So, I would suggest to stay the Word of God. Amen? Let, uh, you know, manatili po tayo sa salita ng Diyos. Amen? Stay on the Word of God. Make the Word of God is a become a final authority over our life. Hallelujah. Let's bow down for a moment and let us pray. Hallelujah, Lord. Once again, as we come to you, O God, this morning, O Lord, we invite the Holy Spirit to be with us. Freely move in the midst of us, Lord. Open our eyes. Open our heart, Lord, that we will understand your message this morning, Lord. Lord, that we can penetrate, O God, that we can, uh, we can listen to your word, O God, this morning. Lord, I pray, O God, that you will touch your people. Lord, maranasan po namin yung pagkilos ng Diyos sa aming kalagitnaan. Maunawaan po namin, O Diyos, ang, ang mga bagay na gusto mong ipagawa sa amin, O Lord. Lord, that's why I pray, O God, be with us, Lord. Uh, let uh, the Holy Spirit freely move in the midst of us. Take control of our service this morning, Lord. We, dis, we, you know, we cancel every distractions, every work of the enemy in the midst of us, Lord, that we can hear your word this morning, Lord. Lord, we just thank you this morning. We just give you back all the praises and the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. So, I want to read this Bible where, and, verse, and, and this verse again in Amplified Version. You know, in Proverbs 29, verse 18. Ito po yung sa Amplified Version. Ang sabi rito ng uh, Proverbs 29, verse 18. Sabi ron, When there is no vision, Amen? Kung wala daw po tayong tinatanaw, Wala tayong tinutumbok. Hallelujah. When there is no vision, no revelation of God and His Word, the people are unrestrained. But happy and blessed in, is He who keep the law of God. Amen? Happy is He who keep the law of God. We need to have a vision. Amen. Kinakailangan sa anumang sitwasyon ng ating buhay, mapa, uh, mapa ating uh, gawain dito sa church, o maaaring sa ating personal na pamumuhay, sa takbo ng ating pamumuhay, we need to have a vision in our life. Kailangan meron po tayong uh, dapat barating. Amen. Kaya nga sabi ng Biblia, without those vision, kung wala tayong uh, hinaha, uh, uh, palatuntunan na ating dapat maabot, ay wala tayong patutunguhan. 
And that's why we need to have a vision. Why? Because the Bible says, if you don't have a vision, you will be unrestrained. Amen. You will be unrestrained. Amen. So, what is a vision? Ano po yung vision? A vision occur frequently in the Bible as instrument of supernatural revelation. Hallelujah. There are audiovisual means of communication between heavenly being and the earthly recipient. Okay? So it's a, it is an audiovisual means of communication between an, a heavenly being and the earthly recipients. Yan po ibig sabihin ng vision. So unrestrained. What is unrestrained? Unrestrained means to move about aimlessly. Amen. They are lost. Walang tinutumbok. Hallelujah. It means to lose the clarity of vision or purpose. Hallelujah. You know, if you go to a, you know, pagawa po tayo ng salamin, pupunta po tayo sa mga sa eyeglasses. Kailangan meron tayong 2020 vision. Hallelujah. Malinaw. Hallelujah. For us to see something good in our life. It means to decrease or to deviate from the original plan curse. Amen. Curse in curso. Hallelujah. So you see, God is setting a course for us. Hallelujah. And my course for our ministry is for our fear of serving Him. Amen. A supernatural increase in our financial, hallelujah, in our growth, praise the Lord, in our service even in the life of every individual. Sa buhay po ng bawat isa sa atin. Okay? And that is what we're aiming. Yan po yung ating uh, sinusundan. Praise the Lord. And that is why I encourage each of every one of us to keep on reminding ourselves, mostly the leadership of our church. Amen? Stay with the vision that God told us to be. The Bible says, stay focused. Amen? Stay focused on His Word with clarity. Hallelujah. Don't ever let anybody convince you that the, uh, the increase is not belongs to us. Ano po, marami pong nagdi-discourage sa atin na sinasabi yung increase ay hindi para sa iyo. Telling, they telling you that, you know, you can't experience that, you know, nobody knows you, hindi kayo kilala, you know, you don't have higher education to leave the ministry. Praise God po, hallelujah. you just too small group. Amen. Uh, and some people, they want us to turn down. Amen. Some of uh, them are watching on us. Waiting for us to shut down. Yan po yung mga tao na, you know, they, they just watching on us, waiting for us to shut down. You know, sad to say. You know, as I said, we have so much obstacles along the way. We have some up, up, and, up and down. Being a young church. Amen. Naranasan po natin yung iba-ibang klase ng pagsubok na dumating po sa ating gawain. Well, you know, he will use people. He will try his very best to stop this ministry. Amen? And one thing I know, you know, isa pong bagay na aking pong ikinagagalak sa aking buhay. The, you know, the devil is working hard in this ministry, trying to stop us, you know? You know, the devil will not do anything in us if they don't see something in our ministry. Amen? Hindi po gagalaw ang kaaway kung wala siya nakikita sa atin. And I believe the Lord is going to use us mightily. Amen? Meaning to say, God is going to use commission for Christ fellowship in a very deeper way. Amen? And Satan knows it. Kaya po, ganun na lang ang pagkilos ng kaaway sa ating buhay. You know? Kasi Satan knows that if we will continue this kind of work, you know, we become very effective in this ministry. But glory to God, but because of that obstacles that comes our way, you know, He is strengthening our faith. Hallelujah. Pinapalakas niya po yung ating pananampalataya. 
and we will continue to hold pass on, on it. Oh, you know, we're going to hold pass on the word of God. Amen. Be ready. Praise God. Be ready for the work that God is going to do in the midst of us. For this coming five years, okay? That's why the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, look at this. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, sabi ron, looking unto Jesus. Amen? For he is the author and finisher of our faith. Ang Diyos po ang nag-umpisa ng gawain ito, and siya rin na po ang tatapos ng gawain ito. Amen? And that's why in Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, sabi ron, be in confidence of these very things, that he who has begun a good works in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be in confident. Hallelujah. Tayo po ay naka- meron po tayong confident that God started this ministry and he will going to finish it until Jesus Christ come back in this world. Hallelujah. Yan po yung plano ng Diyos sa atin, sa ating buhay. Sa bawat isa po sa atin na narito ngayong umaga. Amen. I just let you know that I don't plan to have a church. Hindi ko po plinano na magkaroon ng church. I did not start this church. Amen. Jesus did. Amen. I just obey Him. You know, when He spoke unto us. So, if you have problem with that, kung meron po yung problema dyan, ask the Lord. Amen. Don't ask me. I just obeying what God want me to do. Amen. You are fighting against God, not me. Hallelujah. Because this is the work of the Lord. Amen. Gawain po ng Panginoon eh. Kaya kung minsan nakala nila na y- y- mga ibang leaders atin, nakala nila y- y- pagka tayo ay not torn down, masisira yung gawain. No, this is the work of God. This is the, uh, God started it, not us. Amen. Now, I want you to read on the book of Proverbs. In the book of Proverbs, we're going to uh, talk about this, the book of Proverbs chapter 11. Hallelujah. And dito po tayo magkoconcentrate sa ating talata na ating babasa. In Proverbs chapter 11, verse 25, amen, I'm reading from the New King James Version. Uh, listen to this word, okay? So, said, this is one who scatters, yet increases more. And there is one who withhold more than is right, but it lead to poverty. Amen? Gusto ko pong basahin sa Tagalog para maunawaan po natin mainam. Ano? Ang sabi po sa Tagalog, ang Proverbs chapter 11, verse 25, sabi ron, Ang taong mapagbigay, Amen? Sino ba mapagbigay dito? Hallelujah. Ang taong mapagbigay ay lalong yumayaman. Amen. Amen. That is what the Bible says. I did not say that. That is what the Bible says. Okay? Ngunit, naghihirap ang tikom na mga kamay. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, kung gusto niyong maranasan maging mayaman, Amen? Kung gusto nating maranasan ang tunay na mag- masaga ng buhay, Ang sabi ng Biblia, tayo po ay mapagbigay. Amen. At kung gusto naman nating maghirap, <laughs> gusto nating maghirap ay yung mga tikom ang mga kamay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, sabi nila, maraming sabihan, yung mga Ilocano raw, sarado kamay. Hindi pa ako naniniwala doon. <laughs> Hindi po yun. Hindi po totoo yun. You know? So, kasabihan lang po yan. Hallelujah. Praise God. I think it depends on the people. Amen. So as we study about the law of sowing and reaping, you know, it is impossible to experience a supernatural increase without being a sower. Amen. Hindi po natin mararanasan ang tunay na pagpapala ng Diyos kung hindi natin makikita yung principle of sowing and reaping. And that's where we're going to focus our message today. And, and in the book of Psalms 115, uh, verse 12, meron po rito sinabi ang Biblia. Ang sabi ron, The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. 
He will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great. May the Lord give you increase more and more, you and your children. Now, when you say children here, it's not talking about literally uh, at atin pong anak. They are, talk, they are not literally our children. I meaning to say, every members of the church, uh, every part of the body of Christ, that is what they're talking about. Okay? May the Lord give you increase more and more, and you, more and more, you and your children. Verse 15. May you bless by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Sino po yung nangako? Yung gumawa ng langit at lupa. Amen? Hindi ito pangako ng ating kapitbahay. Amen? Hindi ito pangako ng ating mga kapatid o aso sino man. Ang nangako, nangako po rito walang iba kundi yung gumawa may lalang ng langit at lupa. God, our Creator. So notice that this, this form, this is from the Word of God. Amen? This is from the Word of God. And if you make this a final authority over our lives, gawin po natin makatotohanan ang salita nito, meaning to say, sa ka- kaisipan ng Diyos, gusto niya na tayo ay tumaas ang antas ng ating buhay. Amen? Beyond anything we experienced before. And I experienced that in my life many, many times. You know? of His provision towards our lives. The time that I learned the principle of sowing and reaping. Hallelujah. Um, nung maranasan ko po yung prinsipyo ng Panginoon, ang prinsipyo ng Panginoon ay eh, you need to give first before you receive. Ang prinsipyo po ng tao, we need to receive first before we give. Baliktad, ano po? Pero kabaliktad po sa ating Panginoon. And that's why, Uh, if you're going to go on the book of Genesis, let's talk about the book of Genesis here para maunawaan po natin yung ating tinatalakay ngayong umaga. In Genesis chapter 26, beginning verse 1, and this is in the life of Isaac. Amen? In Genesis chapter 26, I would like to study this because it refers to our uh, message that we have this morning. In Genesis chapter 26, Beginning verse 1 up to 3, so it said like this. There was a famine in the land. Meron pong taggutom sa bayan. Okay? Beside the first famine that was in the day of Abraham. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Palestine, in Gerar. Verse 2. Then the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land of which I shall tell you. Hallelujah. Live on the land where I say I tell you. Praise God. So, meaning to say, sa kaisipan ng Diyos, in the mind of God, gusto yan niya na tayo ay tumaas ang antas ng ating buhay. Amen. I want, I want to thank you this because some, a lot of people think that oh, is not hindi ka takaloob ng Dios na ako is magana. You know, there are a lot of thinking about that. No, that's not that's the wrong concept. God wants you to increase in the area of our life beyond anything we experienced before, and that is the plan of God in every life of people. And I want you to understand that. And I experienced that many many times in my life. Sabi ko nga uh, naranasan ko po na maraming beses sa aking buhay. Amen. Now, the Egyptian represented as the source of the opportunity. Ama, you know, uh, when you say Egyptian way back then, it's like a source of the opportunity. A more developed country way back then. Okay? That can provide for you a better life. Better opportunity. Like United States, even a lot of people in the Philippines want to come here in United States to have a better opportunity. And Egypt way back then is like America way back then, okay? A land of opportunity. And God spoke to Isaac. Nangusap po ang Diyos kay Isaac and God said, don't go to Egypt. Amen? Don't go to Egypt. I want you to live in the land Will I tell you to stay. Amen? So, 
merong tagutom sa bayan na yon ng bayan kung saan sila naroon and then uh, they want to, to come get out from that country and they want to go in Egypt but God said I want don't want I don't want you to go in Egypt God want Isaac to know that he is his source amen ang source po ng pagpapala ay nagbubuhat sa ating Diyos hindi po sa base sa economy ng ating bansa. Amen? Hindi po base sa uri ng trabaho na meron tayo ngayon. And a lot of people think that, you know, the, re- the only way that we can increase our life is to have a good life, makapagtapos tayo ng pag-aaral. Well, I don't, I'm, the, I'm not uh, disagree. Hindi po ako kontra sa pag-aaral. It's nice to have an education, but that is not the source of blessing in our life. is God. Amen? I will be I will be your source. Ang sabi po ng Dios kay Day, kay, kay Isaac. Notice verse 3. Verse 3 sabi ron. Dwell in the land and I will be with you and bless you. For to you and your descendant I will give all this land and I will perform the oath. Pangako. Hallelujah. Which I swore to Abraham your father. Meron siyang binitawang pangako sa kanyang ama. Ano yung pangako na yon? Na ang pangako ng Diyos ay pagpapalain ang lahat ng lahi ni Abraham. Amen. God said to Isaac, if you will obey me, if you will obey me and you stay right here in this land, hallelujah, kung ikaw ay susunod sa akin, I will bless you. I will be with you. And what is the meaning of bless? Ano po meaning ng bless? We studied this before. To empower, to prosper. Hallelujah. Empower to increase. Empower to multiply. Empower to excel. Empower to rise above. Binigyan tayo ng ng pag, binigyan tayo ng kapamahalaan, binigyan tayo ng pagkakataon, binigyan tayo ng katangian para tayo mag-excel, para tayo umangat, para tayo maging above and that minute. Binigyan tayo ng kap, kap, kapangyarihan ng Diyos na tayo ay managana. Amen po ba? And that's what that what bless means. Yan po yung sabi ng Biblia patungkol sa pagpapala. And God said, look at this, if you do that, kung gagawin daw po natin mga bagay na yon, I will bless you. I will empower you to increase even on the famine. In times of famine. And God is so faithful in the life of His people. Amen? Napakatapat po ng Diyos sa buhay ng kanyang mga anak na nagtitiwala sa kanya. In the life of the Commission for Christ Fellowship, hallelujah, naranasan po natin yung pagpapala kahit kung may pandemic. Amen. Hindi po natin naranasan na tayo ay uh, manghikahos. Hallelujah. God bless us. Amen. He provided everything. Even in the midst of trials. In, even in the midst of calamity. Hindi po tayo pinagkulang ng Diyos. Umaapaw pa, labis-labis. Hallelujah. And that is our God that we serve. Amen. If you do that, I will bless you. Hallelujah. And I will empower you to increase even on a famine. And God is so faithful. Hallelujah. Tapat po ang ating Diyos. Then, if you are obedience to God, tayo ay sumusunod sa lahat ng kanyang pinag-uutos. Walang paraan na hindi natin mararanasan ang tunay na pagpapala. Amen. And what hold everybody else back? Ano po yung nag-hold sa atin? Kung minsan, everybody else back, that, uh, that what bless means, ano po, ito yung pag, uh, ibig sabihin ng pagpala sa atin. So, notice God said, ano po yung sinabi ng Panginoon? I will empower you to bless you, to increase even in the midst of famine. Let's, let's continue reading in verse 12. In verse 12, let, let, look at this. Genesis chapter 26. Let's go up to Genesis chapter 26, verse 12. Sabi rito. Verse 12. Then Isaac in, the, in that land 
And then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. Verse 13. The man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous. Hindi lang po prosperous, kundi very prosperous. Hallelujah. Other translation says, he grew, he grew richly by the day. Amen. Verse 14, look at this. For he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herbs and great number of servants. So the Philistine embed him. Nainggit yung mga palisteyo sa kanya. Hallelujah. Nainggit mo yung mga tao na nasa paligid niya. You know? Nowadays, because of the pandemic, you know, still, you know, pandemic still going on and sa Pilipinas lalo pa lumalala ngayon ang pandemic. Hallelujah. Praise God. For some of us got laid off from the job. Amen. Some, uh, some establishments shut down, uh, cutting some over, uh, overheads, you know. And the Lord said, you know, my people experiencing financing, financial famine. Nakakaranas yung iba po sa atin ng financial problem. Uh, the Lord said to Isaac, in time of famine, ito sabi ni, ng Panginoon kay Isaac sa panahon ng tagutom. Sabi niya, I will rebuild to you the key that will bring them out. Ipakikita ko sa inyo ang susi para tayo ay makalabas o makaahon sa lahat ng sigalot ng ating buhay. Meron pong susi na dapat natin malaman. And the primary key was Teach them to sow in times of famine. Hallelujah. Teach them to sow. Turuan natin na ang tao ay magtanim. Hindi po pa magitan ng pagtatanim ng mga gulay. Sa ating pong kapanahonan, hindi po tayo farmers na ngayon. Iba po sa ating mga nagtatrabaho na lang sa ating mga trabaho. Teach them how to sow seed. Amen. But notice, God told him in the land where there was a famine, Amen, you live there temporarily in that land. And sabi ng Diyos kay Isaac, I will be with you and I will bless you. And sabi ng Panginoon, I want you to notice this, that there is a difference in this sowing. Meron pong pagkakaiba dito sa ibang sa sowing nito. Dapat po natin ma-differentiate ano po ang sowing nito. And what are those differences? Ano po yung kaibahan ng pagsasaw dito? There are other men that sow in the land without God being with them. Amen? Meaning to say, yung kanilang pamamaraan ng kanilang pagsasaw ay sa pamamagitan ng kanilang kaalaman. Amen? And without the blessing of God, they got nothing. Why? Because they sow. Well, maaaring sabi natin, sumunod sa kalooban ng Panginoon, but hindi ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. Amen? That is the difference. But because God was with Isaac, amen, God is with Isaac and God promised to bless him. Hallelujah. Then Isaac took his word and he sowed in. In spite of famine on the land. Bakit po? Ano po ang kaibahan? Kasi po kumisan, meron po tayong kaparaan na the way that we sow is ayon dun sa ating kalooban. Kadalasa uh, kasi, mostly yung mga mayayaman, the rich people. They just sow on what things, whatever, yung bariya na meron sila. Have you that? Pero kung tunay na tayo ay nasa kalooban ng Diyos, gagawin natin yung tapat sapagkat yun ang pinag-uutos ng Panginoon sa yung tamang kaparaanan ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. Amen? But because God was with Isaac, God promised to bless him. Then Isaac took his word and he saw in in spite of the famine in the land. Sa kabila ng mga sitwasyon, sa kabila ng kahipitan, sa kabila ng pagsubok, sa kabila ng kalamidad, 
Minsan, sa panahon natin, merong kalamidad. Sabihin, ay, magandang sa kanan lang kasi meron akong pangangailangan ngayon. Hindi mo na ngayon kasi, Lord, na- naintindihan mo naman to eh. You know, we, 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 always, well, we always question God. Lord, sa kanan lang. Kasi mahirap ang buhay. You know, and that's why hindi daw natin maranasan yung tunay na pagpapala. Ito yung sabi ng Panginoon. The one who promised, sabi ng Panginoon, doon sa binasa natin, the one who promised is the one who created heaven and earth. He is God who create everything. Siya po yun lang ako, hindi po yung kaibigan natin. Alam po? Isaac sold in spite of that famine. Hallelujah! Isaac took his word and he sowed a seed. Amen? And ripped a hundredfold in the same year. And that is the result. Praise God. Yan po yung naging bunga. Kadalasan kasi in times of trouble of our life, hindi natin kayang ibigay yung para sa Panginoon. <laughs> you know, it's just like the widow woman who has handful of flour in his hand. Amen? And a jar of oil. Yung last meal na kanilang kakainin ng kanyang anak. You know, and after that, they are going to die. Hallelujah. Hindi niya kayang maibigay because this is the last horse. Panginoon, ito na lang po yung natitira sa akin. Hindi ko na po pwede ibigay pag binigay. Tapos na. Pero if you learn how to obey Him, yan po yung pangako ng Diyos. Merong kapalit na pagpapala. Amen. Amen. Now, let's go on the book of Romans. Book of Romans. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Sabi ron. But what, 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 whatever things were written before were written for our learning, that we through the patient and comfort of the Scripture might have hope. Notice, the story that we just read about Isaac sowing in time of famine. Okay? The purpose of God putting this story in the Bible, that God knows that our generation, our time right now, yung generation po natin ngayon, is coming. Yung pong our time, in the very present time right now. Amen? Yan po yung tinutukoy sa ating binasa. And we are now heading to our five years serving God in this ministry. Hallelujah! Tayo po ay papunta doon sa ikalimang taon na paglilingkod natin sa Diyos. It's tell us that we would need that story. Kailangan natin itong kwento na ito na tinukoy sa ating binasa. Bakit po? It's because it's not uncommon for people today to experience famine. Okay? Everybody will experience hardship in their lives no matter what. Amen? It might be, a, it might be in finances. It might be in health. Or in other areas as well. You know? And the Bible said, in, it's, it's writing on the Apostle Paul. Sinulat po ni Apostle Pablo that this story were written for our learning. Isinulat po yung mga talata na ito para po sa ating kaalaman, para po tayo matuto. For us to know what to do in times like this. Amen? How many of you experience financial, financial pamin? Sino po sa atin nakaranas ng mga financial problems sa ating buhay? Almost lahat tayo nakaranas yan. Amen? I myself naranasan ko rin po yun. The Bible says through the written, writing of the Apostle Paul, Amen? That this written for our learning. Para po maunawaan natin, matutunan natin, ang dapat natin gawin, yung susi ng ating kaunlaran for us to know what is the will of God in our life to experience the supernatural increase in our life. As we read this book of Genesis chapter 26, Amen, God is reminding us. Pinaalahanan po tayo, God is teaching us. Amen, and I learned something from it. Natutunan ko po yung maraming bagay sa mga talatang ito na aking ating binasa. You know, it changed my life. Amen, it changed my way of thinking. Praise God. And now, I'm looking forward to that God is going to do something. Amen? A supernatural increase in our ministry these five years serving unto God. 
yung pong ating paglilingkod sa Diyos. Ibig sabihin, lahat po ng ating ginagawa, hindi po pwedeng mawalan ng saysay. Amen? Hindi po mawalan ng mga bagay na resulta yung ating pong pagtsatsaga. Everybody knows that, you know, we come here every morning, ay, every Saturday morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, we wake up to come here to praise God, to pray. And, uh, you know, we, we experience the glory of God. You know, we do things, you know. I've been, sabi ko nga, me and Pastor Red, we've been pastoring this church. Wala po kaming sweldo. Hallelujah. Hindi po kami tumatanggap ng sweldo. That's because what, what we want is just to preach the gospel. May bigay po natin, may bahagi po natin yung salita ng Diyos for us to be blessed. Hindi po mawawala ng saysay yung lahat ng ating pagtsatsaga. Amen? Hallelujah. And that's why Romans chapter 15, sabi po ng message, message translation, sabi ron, keeping us alert for whatever He will do next. Keeping us alert for whatever He will do next. I truly believe that God will do something great in the midst of us next. Amen? Sino po na niniwala nun? Amen. Ang sabi po ng Romans chapter 15 verse 4 ng, uh, ng uh, New Living Translation. I would I like to read this in New Living Translation. Romans 14, 15 verse 4 ng New Living Translation. Sabi po ito, Such things were written in the scripture long ago to teach us. Hallelujah. Para po tayo turuan na isulat ng mahabang panahon Balit ito ay pwedeng magbago sa ating kapanahonan, sa ating panahon ngayon. And to teach us and the scripture give us hope and encouragement as we wait patiently. Hallelujah! For God promises to be fulfilled. Amen? Wait patiently. Amen? Matagang nagantay. Hindi natin pinangunahan ng Diyos. Madalas kasi sa ating buhay, the reason why we don't experience the supernatural increase is we always go ahead on God. Gusto natin pangunahan ng Diyos sa ating buhay. At tayo po ay napapariwara. Amen? And God says, if we wait patiently for God promise to be fulfilled. And this is, I believe that this is the time that the Lord is going to accomplish that God promised unto us. Hallelujah. Praise God. And, and uh, that is why in the book of Genesis, chapter 26, as we read it a while ago, binasa po natin to, and we can use it as a reference for our hope and encouragement in our daily life. Amen. While we are waiting for the fulfillment of our supernatural increase beyond anything you are experienced before. Maaring sa ating personal na buhay, meron tayo mga inaantay, mga inaasam sa ating buhay. We need to wait patiently because God knows what you do. Alam po ng Panginoon lahat ng ating pagsasakripisyo. At hindi po kaila sa Diyos. Ang sabi nga ng Panginoon, yung daw pong ating pag God put our tears in the battle. Amen? Ibig sabihin, yung ating pong pagluha, batid ng Diyos, yung ating mga hinaing. Alam ng Diyos. He knows that. He precious our tears. Praise God. Amen? For us, na hindi natin pwedeng, hindi pwedeng kalimutan ng Diyos yung mga pag natin sa Kanya. And that's why I encourage you, you know, read Genesis chapter 26, you know, for us to be encouraged to build up in spite, you know, uh, and, uh, and, you know, inspired us in our hope. Don't let anybody else convince you that the story of the Old Testament are no longer valuable and have an importance to us just because we are now in the New Testament. No, hindi po. Mahalaga rin po yung nakasulat sa lumang tipan. Why? Because it is very important that we would only have, you know, it is important that we would only have a New Testament in the Bible. You know, otherwise, you know, otherwise hindi na natin kailangan yung lumang tipan sa Bible. Lahat na lang New Testament. But no, uh, it is important to us. You know, mahalaga rin po sa atin yung lumang tipan. The New Testament is the shadow of the Old Testament. 
Amen? It is written for, a benefit, for our benefits. Amen? So Paul is telling us that we should still place value on this story. Amen? Yung pong nakasulat dito sa mga lumantipan, we need to value this. Amen? Allow them to create hope in us. Bakit po? Why? Because we are the hope people. Amen? Meron po tayong pag-asa. Hindi po tayo tinuldungan. Meron tayong hinaharap. Amen? And we have a lot of hope that we'll experience in this ministry for the coming months. Praise the Lord. It is the scriptural increase beyond anything we ever experienced it before. Hallelujah. Ano po ibig sabihin ng hope? What is hope means? Hope means, yeah, pag-asa sa Tagalog, ano? means favorable, competent, expectation. Amen? For, uh, favorable and competent. Ang sabi po, yun po ibig sabihin ng hope. Amen? It describes the happy anticipations of the good which is coming to us. Mga bagay na darating sa ating buhay. And that is hope. Uh, how many of you believe that? Amen? Sino po naniniwala may mga pag, uh, pagpapala na darating po sa ating mga buhay? Praise God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Kaya nga po, basic example natin, look at the life of Job. I would like to go the life of Job. Amen? He is the, he, Job is the one, the most faithful man of God na nakaranas ng pagsubok sa kanyang buhay. Look at this. In the book of Job, chapter 8, verse 7, ang sabi ron, Through your beginning was small. Amen? Yet your later, later, and world, uh, later end would increase abundantly. Through your beginning was small. Yet your later end would increase abundantly. Praise God. Great, uh, greatly increase should imply. Amen? Extraordinary, supernatural. Amen. Notice that God got a supernatural increase on His hand, ready to pour out for His children. In other words, beyond the natural, beyond dun sa ating naarok ng ating kaisipan. Hallelujah. Kung minsan, nakadun lang tayo, nakalimit lang tayo sa ating kayang isipin. Pero God is beyond that. Beyond the unusual. Uh, you know, beyond usual. Beyond the ordinary. Yan po yung klaseng pagpapala ang ibibigay sa atin ng Diyos. Amen? That's what exactly Genesis chapter 26 talk about repairing to Isaac. Praise God. That God did something for him was extraordinary supernatural things that happen in his life. Why? Bakit po? Because of sowing in times of famine. Amen? Sa kabila ng mga pagsubok sa atin, sa kabila ng mga problema sa ating buhay, we learn how to sow. Amen? And reaping that kind of harvest. Hallelujah! And that's what we did. Yan po yung ating ginawa. We just keep on sowing in times of famine. Amen? And we will expect harvest. Hallelujah. In fact, it was such a great harvest that the Philistine stood on the other side of Isaac's property and invaded him. Amen? Siguro yung mga Palestino nakatanaw doon sa mga, mga pananim ni Isaac naglalaguan, namumulaklak, nagkakaroon ng masaganang bunga. At yung mga palisteyo, nakatingin, nakatanaw, at siya ay inggit na inggit. Amen? Ganyan po ang mangyayari sa ating mga buhay. Bakari yung ating mga, mga kapitbahay, nakatanaw saan, ano ba meron dito sa kapatid na to? What is the secret of this woman, this man, na sa kabilang mga pagsubok, nananagana? Amen? And that's you are. Tayo po yun. Hallelujah. Tayo po ay kinaiinggitan. Hallelujah. Na mga nakapaligid sa atin. And that's what the Philistines did. Amen. Why? Because there was scorch. Amen. Scorch means people who saw outside the will of God. May mga taong nagtatanim wala sa kalooban ng Diyos. Amen. They saw but no crops. Zero. 
Amen. And they could see the Isaac cross were too high and fruitful and flourishing. Yan po yung mga pananim ni Isaac because he learned how to sow seed in times of famine. And the Philistines invade him. Hallelujah. Nainggit ang mga palistiyo sa kanya. Praise God. And that is exactly what happened to us in the new war. Hallelujah. That God will open for us for this coming year. Amen. How many of you believe that? Gagawin po yung pagpapala ng Diyos sa ikalimang taon na ito. And I saw that. We saw that. Nakita po natin. Nakita ng Diyos yung ating pagtsatsaga. Nakita ng Panginoon yung ating ginagawa. Amen. People will see our harvest time. Amen. Increase that, that we're about to experience and people will invade us. May inget yung mga tao sa atin. Amen. You might ask, maring tanong natin, how do you know that? Paano mo, Pastor? Paano mo nalaman na may magkakamagahang mangyayari ito sa buhay nyo? You know, maring tanong natin, why make you confident that these things that you have will come to pass? You know? Bakit ka kasi, bakit sabihin niyo sa akin, bakit ka kasi grado na tayo ay tatanggap ng ganun pagpapal? Well, simple. Si simple lang po. For the last four years, we obey God. Amen? Yan po yung sekreto. The reason why I'm so confident is because for the last four years na nakaraan po natin, we obey God as simple as that. Because it is impossible for God to tell a lie. Amen? Nakita ng Diyos yung ating katapatan. Praise God. Hallelujah. Kaya sabi ng Job chapter 8, verse 7, sabi ron, let's read this again. Throughout your beginning was small, yet your latter end would increase abundantly. Abundantly. I mean, bana nagana tayo. The message translation said, you end up better than ever. End up better than ever. Yung mga bagay na pagpapala na meron tayo noon, uh, mananagana tayo, naghigit pa sa ating mga inaasahan. Hallelujah. Pakisabi nga po sa inyong katabi, sa kaliwa o sa kanan, ituro nyo po siya. You got a bright future. Amen. You got a bright future. Amen. Ituro nyo po yan. We claim that. Amen. Because there is a power in the word. Hallelujah. We got a bright future. Hallelujah. Declare to them. Amen. Because God's word is dependable. Amen. God's word is dependable. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's go on Job chapter 42, verse 10. Let's see. Listen to this. Listen to this carefully. Job 42, verse 10. Listen to this. Amen. And I would like you to meditate this. It said, And the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friend. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Amen. Now, the Bible says in Job chapter 1 that before all the attacks came, all the loss in the life, all the loss in his life, Job was wealthiest man in all the East. Siya po yung pinakamayaman sa East. Now, God has supernatural increase on him. And all his assets are now twice that they were before the attack. Amen. Sino ba mga nakaranas na pagsubok sa ating buhay? Na yung mga bagay ay ninakaw ng kaaway sa ating buhay. Amen? Na mga bagay na inalis ng kaaway sa ating buhay. Ano sabi ng Panginoon? Ibabalik sa inyo yun ng doble. Amen? Twice. Amen? Yung mga bagay na ninakaw ng kaaway. Hallelujah! It will return us back twice. Do you hear me? Amen? ipapalik ng Diyos doble sa ating inaasahan. And nakita po natin kung paano ninakaw ng kaaway yung ating unang apat na taon. And God will restore twice as much that we have before. Hallelujah. And all His assets are not twice that they were before the attack. Amen. Now, let's hear now. Pansinin po natin ang mga talatang ito. Through our the history of the Bible. Pakinggan po natin, throughout the history of the Bible, magmula sa Genesis hanggang Revelation ng ating Biblia, from Genesis to Re- when they talk about the restoration, 
Kung pag-uusapan ang the word restoration of God for all the loss that the devil took for you. Amen? The minimum restoration of God to all the loss is twice fold. Yan po yung sabi ng Bible. Amen? For God to double your asset in the lowest level. Amen? Hindi po one port, hindi po one third. It always doubled the amount. Amen? Dodoblihin ang Diyos yung mga bagay na ninakaw ng kaaway sa ating mga buhay. Ibabalik yan ang doble sa mga bagay na nawala sa inyo. Amen? Hallelujah. Did you hear me? Naririnig niyo ba ako siya? Sabi ko. Amen. How many of you want the restoration? How many of you want the restoration? Amen. I like restoration. Amen. I'm on the business of restoration. Amen. Hallelujah. Job gave him twice of what he had before all the attacks came. Amen. Notice here in verse 12. Not verse 12. Sabi doon. Verse 42, verse 12. Now the Lord blessed latter day of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 female donkeys. If you go back to the first chapter, the exact double of what he started with. So my question for you today, ang katanungan ko po sa bawat isa po sa atin ngayong umaga, can we depend on God's word? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God hear you. Amen. Can we make the word of God the final authority over our life? Amen. Amen. The expect, uh, the expect God to, ex- to expect God experience a supernatural increase in our personal lives, in our ministry, as we celebrate our coming fifth year service unto God. Hallelujah. More than ever before. Amen. Bakit po? Because the Bible says us so. Yan po yung sabi ng Biblia. He told us ahead of time. God spoke to us ahead of time. Amen. Bago pa man tayo mag-umpisa ng gawain ito, God spoke to us. Glory to God. Nangusap po ang ating Diyos. At atin pong tatanggapin yung pang- pangusap ng Diyos. The reason why we have this church right now is we learn how to obey Him. Naranasan po natin na tayo po ay tumugon sa Kanyang pagkakatawag. And that's what the result of it. We have the, the, the commission of for Christ Fellowship Church born the, after four years ago. And now we are heading Five years of our service to God. Hallelujah. Gusto ba natin maranasan ang pagpapala ng Diyos ngayong umaga? Amen. Yung supernatural increase sa ating buhay. Amen. Kung gusto po natin maranasan, tumuyo po tayo lahat ngayong umaga. Let's stand up today. Amen. Let's claim the promise of God. Amen. That the word of God is a final authority over our life. Amen. Gusto po na maranasan natin yung tunay na pagpapala na hindi tayo nalilimitahan ayon sa ating kaalaman, kundi tayo ay limited because what God promised unto us. And the promise of God is right here. The blessing of God. God bless us. When He created man, the next thing that He do is to bless them. And that is what we supposed to experience in the life of each of every one of us this morning. Maranas, hindi kailanman kinaloob ng Diyos na tayo ay mamuhay ng salat. Kalooban ng Diyos na tayo ay mamuhay ng sagana more than that we think of in our life. Amen? Kaya po ngayong mga itas po natin ating mga kamay ngayong mga as we lay hands on you, O God. Hallelujah for your people this morning, Lord. Surrendering our life, Lord. Acknowledging that we cannot do nothing apart from you. Lord, you see the life of your people this morning. Nakikita mo, Panginoon, ang puso ng iyong mga anak ngayong umaga. Even to those people who are watching on us, just follow on us on our prayer. Lift up your hands, acknowledging that God is, is uh, going to do something, miracles in our life ngayong umaga. Lord, nakita mo, when Isaac sow seed in times of famine, Lord, naranasan ni Isaac 
yung tunay na pagpapala ng the same year of that time that they experience abundance blessing that coming from you. Lord, this morning as I pray, as I lay hands to your people this morning, even to those people who are watching on us, Lord, we claim, O God, that your blessing will be poured out in the life of your people. Lord, including our healing, our deliverance, our financial paginoon, that you will open up uh, the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that we cannot ever contain it, O oh God. That we were going to surprise, O oh God, that we can even believe it, O oh God. The blessing that coming from you, Lord, that you will open the windows of heaven and pouring out such a blessing in our life, in the life of your people. Lord, as I lay hands my hands, O oh God, towards your people, Lord, I ask, O oh God, that they will experience abundant blessing that coming from you, Lord. Lahat ng may mga pangangailangan sa mga oras nito, Panginoon. Batid mo, O Diyos, ang aming mga pangangailangan. Batid mo, O God, yung aming mga, mga bank account, Lord, na kuminsang, Panginoon, naging dahilan o sanhi ng aming pagpanlulupaypay, Panginoon. Lord, I pray, O God, paltan mo ito ng kaginahawahan. Paltan mo ito ng katagumpayan, Panginoon. Paltan mo ito ng panibagong pag-asa sa buhay ng iyong mga yes. anak, Lord. And Lord, Hallelujah. as I lay hands my hands to your people, Lord, oh pour out your blessing to your people, Lord. Hallelujah. Meet their needs, O oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, God. abutin mo sila, Panginoon. Even, O oh God, sickness and disease Hallelujah. over their Lord. life, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. katampuin mo ito, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. At Lord, salamat, Panginoon, sa, imbu- sa buhay ng mga anak, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bless your people this morning, Lord. We call blessing of God Amen. from Amen, east Lord. to the west to the north to the south, Lord. Hallelujah, and we Lord. claim victory over our life, Lord. Hallelujah, and we will experience great, Lord, the supernatural increase in the life Hallelujah, of your Lord. people, Lord. Amen. Lord, we just say thank you, O God. Hallelujah, Lord. Pampisa natin, pasalamatan ng Panginoon, say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessing. Claim the blessing of God. For your people, Salam. tanggapin natin ang pagpapala nito na buhat sa ating Diyos na buhay. Claim it. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the healing of God. The miracle healing of God in our body, Lord. Salamat, Lord. Lord, this morning, we just claim victory over our life. And we just give you back all the praises and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. God bless you, Paul. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Ito po ay first Sunday. Ano kapin natin? Communion. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So sa araw na ito po ay isang bagay na mahal natin sa Holy Communion. Praise God. So bago natin tatanggapin po ang communion sa umagang ito, Meron ako lang sasabihin po dito, ang Panginoon Jesus po ay siya ang nagbigay, ibinigay niya ang kanyang katawan. He gave his body. Hindi lang yung katawan niya ang ibinigay niya para sa atin, kundi ang kanyang dugo. Praise God, ang kanyang dugo. Para sa at, hindi lang para, para sa akin, hindi lang para sa iyo, kundi para sa lahat, para sa buong mundo. Ito ang pag-ibig na mahalaga na ibinigay ng Diyos para sa atin. Praise God. Hallelujah. Kaya, ginawa niya ito parang mapatawad ang ating mga kasalanan na ginawa natin sapagkat ang Panginoon, sabi niya noon, na nakalaylay sa cross ng Kalbaryo, sabi niya, si Lucano, pakawanem ida. Patawarin mo sila. 
at hindi nila alam ang ginagawa nila. Praise God. Kaya, that is a lot of love for each and every one of us. When we take the Lord's Supper communion, it is important, it is important to remember Jesus Christ sacrifice for us. Praise God. Kaya bago natin tatanggapin po ang tinapay at ang ang grapes para sa atin, manalangin po natin pa, manalangin po muna tayo sandali lang sister Dayan. Manalangin po muna tayo bago tatanggapin natin ang nakahanda para sa atin. Lord, sa umagang ito, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa iyo sa inyong kabutihan mo sa amin, sa inyong pag-ibig mo sa bawat isa sa amin. Salamat sa ginawa mo, Panginoon, para sa amin. Nagkasala kami, Panginoon. Pero, Panginoon, sinabi mo noon, nakalaylay ka sa cross ng Kalbaryo, patawarin mo sila. Lord, salamat sa ginawa mo. Kaya, Lord, sa araw na ito, ito po ay gagawin namin upang pag-alaala pag -ala namin sa iyo, O Diyos, sa araw na ito. Kaya, Lord, salamat sa iyong pag-ibig. Salamat sa ito, Panginoon, na gagawin natin. It is a holy communion, Lord, para sa amin. Para sa amin ito, Panginoon, upang patawarin mo po kami, linisin mo po kami. Alam namin, Lord, na pinatawad mo na kami. At malaya na kami, Panginoon. Malaya na kami. Salamat o Diyos sa araw na ito, kaya bago namin, tanggapin namin ito na communion para sa amin o Diyos. I-bless mo, pagpalain mo ang bawat isa sa amin na tumanggap sa Holy Communion o Diyos. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The night you were betrayed, you took the bread. After giving thanks, you broke it and said, This is my body, broken for you. And as you eat it, remember. You were betrayed, you held the cup. After giving thanks, you lifted it up. This is my blood poured out for you. And as you drink it, remember me. This is my blood poured out for you, and as you drink it, remember me. Napay para sa ati sa ngayon, habang tinatas natin, basahin ko po. Luke chapter 22, verse 19, sabi niya dito, Pagkatapos, kumuha siya ng tinapay at matapos magpasalamat sa Diyos at hinahati-hati niya ito at ibigay sa kanila, sinabi niya, ito ang aking katawan at inahandog para sa inyo. Gawin, niyo, gawin din niyo ito habang pag-alaala sa akin, tanggapin natin ang tinapay. Sister Diane, paki 
pray not but hallelujah lord thank you lord yes lord hallelujah lord hallelujah lord yes lord amen Salamat o Diyos. Amen. Praise God. Sa chapter 22, verse 20, itas natin ang, ang grapes na sa, na sa kamay natin. Pagkatapos nilang kumain, ganoon din ang ginawa niya sa inumin. Kinuha niya ito at nagpasalamat sa Diyos at sinabi, ang inuming ito ay bagong kasunduan at pinagtibay ng dugo kong mabubuhos dahil sa inyo. Inumin natin. Manalangin po tayo, Lord, sa araw na ito, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa iyo sa ginawa mo sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Salamat o Diyos sa tinapay at sa kasagrep na tinanggap namin sa araw na ito. Glory to God, glory to God. Rabakasikaralabakasay. Rabakasikikaralabakasay. Daralabakasay. Salamat o Diyos sa mahalagang ginawa mo para sa amin. Ang ginawa mo, mo Panginoon, ay hindi lang sa isang tao, kundi sa buong mundo, sa buong mga tao, Panginoon. Ibinuos mo, ibinigay mo, Lord, ang iyong katawan, ibinigay mo ang inyong dugo para sa amin upang mapatawad po kami, Panginoon. Kaya, Panginoon, sa araw na ito, kami po ay nagpapasalamat. Inalaala lang namin ito, Panginoon, sa ginawa mo at kami po ay nagpapasalamat at itinataas ka namin sa, mga ar sa araw na ito, Panginoon. Amen. Ikaw lang, Panginoon, ang maitaas. Amen. Hindi yung sarili namin kundi nagpapakumbaba pa kami, Panginoon, upang ikaw ang maitataas sa araw na ito. O Diyos sa aming buhay. Lord, kami po ay nagpapasalamat. Kaya, Lord, tulungan mo po kami. Palakasin mo ang aming pananampalataya sa iyo. Palakasin mo po kami, Panginoon. At pamuhayan namin ang iyong mga salita. Lord, salamat. I-bless mo sa, ang bawat isa sa amin. Ikaw po ang manguna sa, sa, sa amin, Panginoon. Patnubayin mo po kami upang kami po ay sumunod sa mga salita mo, Panginoon. Hallelujah, Lord. Kaya, Panginoon, sa araw na ito, ikaw lang ang maitaas. Ikaw lang ang mapapuris sa araw na ito, sa, sa ginawa mo sa bawat isa sa amin. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen. Praise God. Praise Sige po, tayo po'y makakaupo. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to Hi God. Po. Are you blessed? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Ayan, ayan na naman si Sister Vilma. Ang ingay na naman niya. <laughs> Nag-umpisa na naman. Are you really blessed? Amen. Amen. Okay, gising na sila. Hallelujah. Ano yung ano?
kung maliit lang.